Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, June 5th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we had a few heavier showers and thunderstorms producing some rather vivid lightning earlier this morning. That is now all cleared out. We have a few lingering showers here and there. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior and upper 60s to lower 70s everywhere else with a southwesterly wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. There are some areas of patchy fog reducing visibility to around 4 to 6 miles, but overall most locations are around 10 miles in visibility. Take a look at our surface map. There's our stationary front that will be dropping south today. There's our cold front that will be moving through tomorrow. The combination of the two will produce periods of showers, especially this afternoon and evening, but by tomorrow, it's not a complete washout. We have a few isolated, widely scattered showers, but overall, it's not going to be that bad of a day. So certainly improving for the weekend. We're going to take a look at our satellite picture. Here's our stationary front. As you can see, there is a ton of moisture in the atmosphere. There's our next cold front that's going to be moving through tomorrow afternoon, say about 2, 3 p.m. That's going to be clearing the coast. As we can zoom in, you can see we have a lot of low clouds over the region. That's really important because with all of these low clouds in place, it's going to limit the potential for instability in the atmosphere. Plenty of moisture, still marginally unstable. So when the showers and thunderstorms redevelop this afternoon, they will be capable of some very heavy downpours and some vivid lightning. So definitely watch out for that. But the severe threat is not as significant as what we saw two days ago. Meanwhile, down in the tropics, we have Tropical Depression Crystal Ball. Now, Crystal Ball has winds of 35 miles per hour, thus making it a tropical depression with a pressure around 1,000 millibars. It is now moving to the north-northeast and at 7 miles per hour. A significant increase in forward speed is already being observed. So, this is getting picked up by a trough off to our west, and it's not your typical tropical low-pressure system in that it has a lot of dry air on the western side of the circulation. This tropical depression, crystal ball, is expected to lift northward into the Gulf of Mexico, intensify back into a tropical storm, and make landfall Sunday night into Monday morning as a 60 mile per hour tropical storm. At this time, it is not expected to become a hurricane, but we'll keep an eye on that for that potential. So, walking through the forecast for today, watch out for some showers and thunderstorms, capable of some very heavy downpours. Look for highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. For tonight, Look for lingering showers, some fog, lows in the mid-60s to upper 60s. For tomorrow, the cold front will move through between the late morning hours and the early afternoon hours, clearing off the coast by around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So you're going to remain at threat for isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms up to that point, and then clearing skies thereafter. Look for high temperatures in the lower to mid-80s. For Sunday... High pressure and complete control with clear skies, with lows in the upper 50s, highs in the lower to mid 70s, a few upper 60s on the immediate coast. On Monday, high pressure remains in control with lows in the upper 40s to mid 50s, highs in the lower to mid 70s. On Tuesday, high pressure again produces clear skies to sky cloud cover, lows in the lower to mid 50s, highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Wednesday, high pressure starts to exit with increasing cloud cover. Lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s, highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. And on Thursday, a cold front will approach with periods of showers, especially in the afternoon and evening. Lows in the lower to mid 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And on Friday, look for scattered showers with lows in the upper 50s and highs in the lower to mid 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.